Hi, welcome to Pastor Paul Says, and today I am saying love is what? Um, good question. Uh, primarily, I'm talking today about what biblical love is, what Christian love uh, love is and the very famous chapter in the Bible that talks about love is First Corinthians 13 in the King James version that I've got it uses the word charity but really the word um, we're talking about what we're talking about here is love and there's a very interesting um, phrase I think that the Bible uses in this chapter in verse 5 it says that basically love doth not behave itself unseemly uh, seeketh not her own in other words we would say i guess today that that love is not self-seeking it doesn't seek uh, its own interests and so when christians talk about loving others loving their brothers and sisters in christ loving um even their enemies, um, what the Bible is saying is that that kind of love, that kind of love that comes from God, that is poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, does not seek something back. That's how you can tell that it's genuinely Christian love, is that that love will just keep on giving. It's not, it's not looking for something coming back. It's not saying, well, okay well i'll give my love to you if you're going to give me something back you know what's in it for me is this it's not a trade we're not trading the love that god has given us to say well okay here's my love now what do i get back no love is a sacrifice christian love uh, we love as god loves because it's the love of god that it's poured out into our hearts by the holy spirit and so the love that we have it, it it gives and it does not seek its own we're not seeking anything back and when you can love like that without needing something in return um then you are you are existing on a higher spiritual plane you've found a place in god where you can truly live in love you can abide in the love of god where it doesn't matter to you whether people love you back or not it doesn't matter to you whether people come and say oh thank you very much for being so kind to me or it doesn't matter you're not waiting for that return and are you going to say thank you and are you going to give me something back that's how the people of the world operate that's not how christians are meant to operate or meant to give their love we don't need anything back it's the giving of love itself which is is the the pleasure all of its own it's a it's an intense spiritual uh pleasure and it causes us to rejoice um but again in this chapter of first corinthians 13 verse 6 says that love rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in the truth so uh, the rejoicing the love that i have within me that god has put within me i rejoice um but only in the truth i don't rejoice in iniquity i don't rejoice in things that god has called sin i don't call that love okay if it's morally sinful if the bible condemns it i don't say oh well that's love no, because the love that I have, that God has given me, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but it rejoiceth in the truth. I'll share another verse with you um, from Galatians. Um, so love is uh, not being self-seeking, just loving others. Love is not rejoicing in iniquity but rather rejoicing in the truth and uh, love is something else it is the means by which my faith operates uh, galatians chapter 5 um, verse 6 
says, For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. That's it. That That's the Christian life. In a nutshell, is that we live by faith, yes, but by faith which worketh by love. Without love, you've got nothing. I mean, that is the yes, in essence, isn't it? 1 Corinthians 13, without love, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, what is it, a clanging gong or, you know, I'm, I, without love, I'm nothing. I can't even if I have all knowledge, so on. If you don't have love, then you haven't understood what it means to be a follower of Christ uh, because we are to love one another. By this will all men know that you are my disciples. And that love, it's not a kind of schmaltzy, uh, sentimental love, but it is a genuine, authentic um, love. It has integrity to it. Uh, and, and that is the kind of love that we want to operate in. And so as we're heading at the moment towards Valentine's Day, think about that. What it is to have genuine Christian love. Um, show your love. Show it in many ways. Show it you know, in, in word, in deed, in thought, in faith. Um, but do it without seeking a reward. Do it without seeking return because it is its own reward. It is its own return. And if you can understand that, if you can get a grip on that, uh, then you can pour your love out for somebody else. So you'll be s slandered for it. That people will not understand. Why are you being like this? They will, they will not understand the pouring out of that love they'll be saying what are you what are you hoping to get in return is it pride are you hoping to get some kind of status is it something more sinister you want in return why are you being nice to me but the answer is you know the love of god it's been poured into your heart and now out it comes out it comes and you can't stop it, it just keeps on pouring out and showing uh, the love of God that he has shown to you to other people regardless of who they are what position they hold in society uh, regardless of the color of their skin uh, regardless of their theological or religious persuasion you can still love them in Christ and remember that love must uh, rejoice in the truth and not in iniquity if you love someone share the gospel with them Tell them about Jesus and then you will truly be loving them. OK, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos in this series. Pastor Paul says also you can check out our Sunday morning sermons on this channel and also our Bible studies. Look out for those and I'll see you soon. God bless you all.